Hello and welcome. I'm James Murphy from mcoding.io, where I offer nine-week programming courses. Today, we're going to be looking at another hard leak code interview question. This time, how do you merge sorted linked lists? Given k sorted linked lists, how do we put them together into a single sorted linked list? So I've already copied over the starter code, just including the vector header and uh, having the definition of a linked list. Here, it's just uh, an integer and a pointer to the next node in the list. So the first thing that I want to point out is that these linked lists are given to us in the form of a vector. So I essentially have this kind of picture where I have a vector and the elements of the vector are pointers to those heads of the linked list. Then the idea for the algorithm is pretty simple. Uh, let me sort of draw a picture that's in the middle of it. If this is sort of what's happened so far, this is my answer so far, how do I add the next thing on to the answer? The next thing that would be in the big sorted list has to be one of the things that's in the vector. Uh, I don't have to look further down uh, into any of the lists because the, the head of each list is the smallest element in that list because they're sorted. So I just compute what's the, the minimum of this vector in the sense of find me the list node that has the smallest value. Let's say that it's this one. Then I'll go ahead and put that uh, as the next of whatever the last thing was uh, in my answer, and then replace it in this vector with whatever came after it. Now, if there was nothing that came after it, so if the picture looked like this, where there was nothing here, and instead it was just a null pointer, then if that happened to be the minimum, I would place it in the answer spot, and then I just wouldn't replace anything with it. So eventually, as I repeatedly do this, keep finding the minimum and hooking it on to the end of my answer so far, I will eventually get rid of everything in the vector. And when the vector is completely empty, then I've hooked everything up and I'm done. That's the sorted list. So I think that most programmers at this point could probably just write a simple loop uh, keep looping while this vector isn't empty and hook things up as I just described. Uh, the only thing that I would encourage you to think about is since I'm going to be repeatedly finding the minimum element of this vector, is there any kind of data structure that I could use in order to make that happen as fast as possible? Since I want to be computing the minimum element repeatedly, the data structure that comes to mind is to use a min heap. If you're not familiar with what a min heap is, it's just a way of storing your data in a way that makes it very quick, in fact, constant time to find the minimum of a set. The idea is that you imagine you have a tree structure like this. And I'll just stop here, but you can see how this goes on. And then those numbers are just the indices uh, in the vector that you would be using. So you just write it out one row at a time. And then the values corresponding to these indices have the property that when you go in this direction, you always find that what's above is always less than or equal to what's below. A parent is always less than or equal to all of its children. That makes finding the minimum element really easy because it has to be the thing that's at the very top which by the picture is index zero. So the way that I'll use this in the context of merging sorted lists is that I've already got all these lists in a vector. Let me just make that vector into a min heap. That way, it's constant time to find the minimum element, which is exactly the next thing that I want to add on to the end of my bigger sorted list. Then I just pop that thing off the heap and if it had a next node, then I push that onto the heap, and then I just repeat. So I think I've got enough of the theory to start getting into the actual code, so let me switch over to uh, the code now. So the first thing that I want to take care of is some degeneracies in the problem, 
basically it's possible for the entire vector of lists to be empty or uh, some of the lists in that vector to themselves be empty. Uh, meaning that instead of being an actual pointer to a list node, they could be null pointers. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just go through the vector, get rid of anything that's empty, and then um, check to see if there's anything left over. So here's how you uh, remove all those uh, empty lists from the vector. Basically, std remove looks for any of this element, null pointer, in the list and puts them at the end. And then I use erase to um, take those things until the end and actually remove them from the vector. So this remove just shifts, and then erase actually makes the vector smaller. Then I check if the size is 0, then just return a null pointer. This is the case where essentially I was asked to merge a bunch of empty lists. And so the only sensible thing to do here is to return uh, a null pointer. I will note here that uh, std remove and probably some of the other things that we're going to be using are actually in the algorithm header. So I'll go ahead and include that now. So at this point, there are only non-trivial length lists in my vector. So now's the point where I would like to actually make the vector into a heap. I would like to just use std make heap and give it my uh, vector begin and end. But by default, make heap uses the built-in less than operator. So it would be comparing my linked lists using less than on the pointers, meaning it would be comparing them by memory address, which is definitely not what I want to do. And the second problem is that there's two kinds of heaps. We want a min heap, but the default in C++ make heap actually makes a max heap, which does the exact same thing, but it's good for maximums. And this is a greater than or equal to here in uh, the heap picture. In order to make it a min heap and to sort by actually um, looking at the values of the list nodes, we're going to make a uh, comparison lambda function. So here I'll do a const auto comparison equals uh, it'll take list node star and first and the list node star second. And what it will do, it'll just return whether first arrow value is greater than second arrow value. And here I'm using the greater than instead of less than because the default is to make a max heap. So if I use less than, I would get a max heap. So I'm going to use greater than to get a min heap. Then I'll go ahead and just pass in my comparison function to std make heap, and it will use this comparison uh, instead of the built in one. So I'll start by just making a list node, uh, not a pointer, an actual list node, and I'll just call it dummy. And then I'll initialize a sort of current pointer uh, as a pointer to the dummy. So this gives me the advantage of knowing that this current pointer is pointing to an actual list node and not possibly pointing to a null pointer. And the idea behind this is that I'm actually going to be using the dummy as sort of a one before the head of the list. In the picture, that means the dummy is going to be here. And I just construct it so that it exists. And then all the rest of the things are going to be added on um, to the dummy. And this just makes it easier because now I can assume that I've sort of already initialized the last thing. I don't have to constantly be checking whether the current value is a null pointer or not. And then at the end, it serves a dual purpose that because this is sort of one before the head of the list, then its next is the actual head of the list. So the idea is that I'm going to set it up this way, and then when I'm done, I'm going to be returning the dummy.next. OK, so let's get to the part where we actually start linking things up. So we'll definitely have a while loop. So I'll start out by saying while the size of my lists is bigger than 0, then I'll do some stuff. So first, I need to get the minimum element. So I'll do a pop heap. 
and I have to give it the uh, lists begin, the lists end, and the comparison for the heap. And what this does is it actually puts the, um, the minimum element at the end. So sort of like remove, where it doesn't actually remove it from the vector, it just places it at the end. Then I'll get the minimum element as the last element in the vector. So this min now needs to be attached on to the last list node that there was. So I'll say current arrow next is the min. And then for the next iteration, I'll set the current now to the min. So at this point, we've hooked up the next element to the list. And now we just need to replace that element with uh, its next if it has one, or don't replace it if there was nothing there. So I'll say if uh, the min had a next that was not a null pointer, then I'll put that next uh, at the back of the list where min used to be. Then I need to maintain the heap property. So I'll do a std push heap and pass it the begin and end comparison. So again, uh, push heap doesn't actually put anything into the vector. This line puts it into the vector, and then this line uh, takes that last element of the vector and then maintains the heap property. Then we have to handle the case where there was nothing after the min, in which case we just pop that back element off of the actual vector. So I'll say lists.pop back. So I think this looks good uh, as far as correctness goes, uh, but I do actually want to make one small optimization, which is that uh, if there's only one thing left in the list, or let's just imagine that I was only given one length list to start with. Well, since it was already sorted then, in that case, I don't need to do anything. Once I hook up that first element, it's completely already sorted because by assumption it came in sorted. So instead of going until the vector is empty, I'll actually just go until it has only one thing left. So here we know that list.size is exactly equal to one. So in that case, I can just set the next of current uh, to be the only thing in the list. So I'll just say list.back. Uh, and then that's all we need to do because we don't need to pop things off one at a time and hook them up. If, as soon as I hook up the first thing, the whole thing is hooked up. The rest of them are already in order. All right, so with that small optimization uh, in mind, then I think that's it. I decided that I want to write at least one test case before I submit it. So I went ahead and uh, added a few uh, methods to the list node. I, I don't really want to go over these. Uh, these two just allow me to create a uh, linked list from a vector, and then this just deletes it. Uh, don't worry about the implementation. It's very straightforward. Uh, and then this just obviously prints it out, loop through it one at a time, and print them out. Then I've added this code in main, just using these new uh, new list and delete list and print functions that I wrote, um, just so I can test that this gives me the right thing. And we see that we get 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then the end, which is what I was expecting. Uh, and then let's just check that I can throw on some null pointers here. And that's also fine. And indeed, that is also fine. So I'm happy with this. I think I'm going to go ahead and send it off. OK, and here we go. And we got it. Great. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.